Hey, what's going on guys? So I have my Prusa i3 from Fulger Tech, the 2020 aluminum frame version that I'm gonna be live streaming the full build tomorrow. I decided I would do an unboxing video. I wanted to show you guys what you guys get in the package, which is everything you'll need to build this printer. Also, so that way I can check and make sure everything is here, not damaged and ready to go for tomorrow's stream. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so here we have it. I'm going to do my best to do this. Um, I'm doing it with my webcam just because it's probably going to be a decently long video, and I didn't want to use my DSLR for this one. So hopefully everything will be at least visible and look all right for you guys. So um, I did just rip open the top earlier before I decided I wanted to do an unboxing video for this, so nothing's been taken out or anything like that. But basically on top, you've got just basically the um, you know packaging slip that shows you everything that's in here that was personally signed and checked off by somebody over there which is awesome <laughs> um and i saw this earlier which is pretty cool it's a small thing but they threw in a little jelly belly assortment packet which is hilarious and i'm a huge fan of so you do get this while you're building a printer you've got something to uh eat i guess so let's go ahead and take out all the stuff on top all right so right on top we have got it says um rams 1.4 um the mega um, Arduino board basically, a USB cable, four end stops, they give you one extra which is awesome, a screwdriver for tuning the, um, I would imagine these 5, 8, 4, 9, 8, eights, which I, I believe is going to be the uh, drivers for the stepper motors. Then we have got some plastic which I actually am not sure what this is going to be used for. And here we have got, it says the aluminum bed set, aluminum bed plate, two five millimeter threaded rods and laser cut parts, two acrylic rod keepers and one acrylic ramps mount. Here is the, uh, the heated bed. Then we have got, it looks like a bunch of bearings. Um, yeah, these are gonna be all the bearings. They supply you with a roll of Kapton tape, which is really cool of them. So yeah, this is um, 12 LM8UU bearings, two 63ZZ, two 5x5 couplings, and some Kapton tape, which I have Kapton tape, but it's still really cool for them to supply that. And then in here, we have got our 360 watt, 12 volt, 30 amp power supply. We have got our stepper motors. We got an XY. An X and Y motor, two Z motors, and it looks like, um, let's see, two, two of those. One for the extruder, Costle kit. So is it six motors? It might be six motors. I think it's five, but it feels like it could be six. X, Y, Z, E. Or maybe it's four. It looks like it's saying that there's for different. Yeah, it's for different kits. Okay, so this is the Prusa i3 2020. They also have the Castle and the Cloner version. So for the, the um, i3, you've got one X, one Y, and uh, two Z motors. And then there also should be one for the extruder in here as well. This has. Whew, oh man, that'll be fun. This is going to be a fun project, guys. I can already tell. I should probably get these all separated tonight, maybe, but. um. I'm not going to read through it all, but this is basically a list, I don't know how well it'll focus in with the light, but of all of the different, um, we've got everything from nuts, bolts, bolts, washers, pan heads, bolts, washers, nuts, washers, clamps, um, brackets, all of, all this good stuff right here. A, um, power cable for the power supply. This is going to be, uh, all of our 3D printed parts. It says plastic set for 2020 i3 Prusa. Do not force parts together. Good to know. We've got the i3 chrome rod set. We have got all of our wires for our stepper motors. Looks like you got five feet of red, 16 aug wire, five feet of black, 16 aug wire, one meter of red, 22 aug, one meter of black, 22 aug, three long motor wires, and two short motor wires. So that is all in here. We have got, oh cool, give you a little filament sample. <laughs> That's fun. I'll use that I guess for like a test print or something. We've got the direct drive extruder. 
we have got a couple of the little basically knobs that go on to the um, motors and we've got some uh, da -da 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 -da. it says two meters of G2 or GT2 belt so that's all in here then in here we have got it says three motor mounts four SK8 rod mounts and two SHF8 rod mounts and then we have got our 2020 aluminum beam kit, which is for the frame, which is awesome. It feels extremely solid. So let me see if there's anything else in here. Nope, looks like all cardboard in there. So I'm not gonna go ahead and take everything out, especially like the screws and stuff right now, but I'm gonna kind of take some of the stuff out and just get it ready for tomorrow. So again, we've got the aluminum frame, which I'll put off to the side right here. Got our filament sample, which that doesn't even need to be here. I'll put that off over there. So we got some wiring. We'll put the uh, rod set also over here with that. We'll open up this bad boy. This is the uh, extruder. Let me see if I've got a knife or scissors or something. Got a box cutter right here, that'll do. Everything is packaged up extremely nicely, I will say, and I like that it is all labeled. This feels pretty heavy duty, so we've got another little baggie in here, basically labeled. It says, um, due to tolerance issues with mounting the extruder, we've included extra hardware that may be needed in place of the M335 bolts. So you've got some additionals in case the default ones, I guess, don't work. Let's undo this. You will need a glass um, platform for the hotbed, what they do have, luckily. It's an 8 by 8 millimeter bed area. Let me cut this. Ah, so they already have the um, extruder motor mounted on here. So there is the extruder. It looks nice. looks really heavy duty. They have the fan mounted already, which is cool of them. So there is that one. What is the size? Doesn't say. I'm not sure what the size of the nozzle is on this extruder. I'll have to look that up. Probably 0.4 looks like. And again, we've got oh, <clears throat> this right here is the um, motor mounts, the rod mounts. I'm going to keep these in this bag, but I'll pull them out briefly here so we can take a look at them. Oh, wow, these are nice. These are not printed. These are, I don't know if it's aluminum or what material, but I mean, it's, you can hear it. It's definitely either steel or aluminum or something like that. So we've got one of these, it looks like for all the motors. This is going to be the rod mounts. I do like that they uh, don't have printed parts for these. Because I've seen kits with printed parts for these. And again, these are, you want these to be solid and not move around at all. Oops, I'm dropping stuff. More sets of these. This will save me time tomorrow when I'm actually building it, just having all this stuff open already. All right, so we've got all these guys right here. So again, put them back in the bag for now. No need to have them out. I'd rather have it all labeled so I know what exactly I'm working with. Plastic parts, we'll take a look at these. All printed very nicely. I'm not sure if these are PLA or ABS. I want to say it's PLA, but I'm not positive, so I don't want to, don't quote me on it. But yeah, they're definitely printed extremely nicely. Got 
looks like belt tensioners and stuff like that. These are the, um, I believe the LMU nut, or, um, bearings are going to sit in here. All of our bearings, which I'm not going to take those out, there's no need to. I'll leave those inside of there. We'll take a look at this. This is the uh, heater bed. I do actually have one of these already, so I could use the one I have, but since they supplied it, I might as well just use this and I'll have an extra. Yep, I'm already tearing it. Cool, and they do supply also a uh, thermocoupler for the heated bed, and uh, it's just kind of tacked on there with some Kapton tape, but again, they gave you a roll of Kapton tape, so that way you can place this where you need to place it and, um, um, you know, seal the thermocoupler down with some Kapton tape. It's the aluminum bed set, which we'll, we'll open that up too. We'll keep it with the bed. I might actually keep this one in the baggie. So we'll take it out for a second. So yeah, we've got the uh, two rods. This is aluminum. And then we've got, this is acrylic right here, which also looks extremely nice. It looks really nice, actually. I'm excited. I can't wait to build this thing tomorrow. We'll actually put the hot bed in here along with it so that we'll be able to bed stuff together. Let's see what else. Definitely not opening this. <laughs> this is gonna absolutely drive me crazy. I might. I think tonight I'll actually go through and organize all this stuff so that way I have it. Um, that way tomorrow I can just grab from whatever pile I need. I wish I had some uh, ice cube trays to be perfect for this. Maybe I'll use my my uh, Da Vinci printer to print out like a uh, screw a uh, little screw tray thing. That's what I think I'll do tonight, so that way I have this all nicely organized and I can even label it if I want to. That'll definitely save me some time tomorrow. Power cable, really standard again. Not gonna open that up. We'll take a look at the stepper motors. Oh, this is nice. This is why it felt like it was more than it was. They've got it all, uh... I'll just show you guys. So it's inside of foam to protect them from damage during shipping, which is nice that they take the little care. So yeah, we got X, Y, and then two for the Z right here. One of them's bigger than the rest of them. I wonder what that one is. That one must be for, uh, huh, I wonder what access that's going to be for. I'll have to look into that. But yeah, one of them's definitely beefier than the rest. You can see that quite significantly, actually. Then we've got the power supply, which I've got tons of these. I've got a couple ATX, and I have one just like this. So I might might just save this one, or I'll maybe I'll use it since they gave it. But here is the power supply, which is it's actually a little bit nicer than the one I have. It's got the exhaust fan right there, and then it's where you're going to basically wire it up for your uh, voltage and your ground. Put that back in the box. And then let's take a look. Let's take a look at the ele electronics. It says. Um, <clears throat> you can download the firmware for your board at FolgerTech.com. This board will not work without uploading the firmware. So cool. I actually do like that. Um, originally, I was thinking that the board was already going to be flashed with the uh, correct um, firmware, which I believe is the going to be Marlin firmware is what they use. But um, you actually get to do that yourself, which I like because, honestly, I wanted to build a printer from the ground up. I only got the kit because it was basically cheaper and it made more sense for me. But... Um, so yeah, we've got a uh, stepper motor driver, stepper motor driver, stepper motor driver, stepper motor driver, extra stepper motor driver. Awesome to have an extra. Why not? We have got the ramps board, which I have. I have like two or three extra of these bad boys, so I've got tons of those. We have got a little tool, huh? Ceramic aligner tool. That's neat. They give you that as well. 
we've got the Arduino Mega. And it's funny because I saw the one I saw online, it was actually like full Gertex brand. This one actually looks like the Arduino board. I don't know, it might be a clone, but it kind of looks official. Here we've got a uh, end stop, end stop, end stop. Actually, I don't know if the drive. I'm sorry, I don't know if the drivers was an extra. There's an extra end stop though, so that's cool to have. I do have a couple extra anyway, but yeah, end stop and USB cable. So this is pretty much everything. Um, next step again, I'm gonna print out like an ice cube tray thing to basically hold all the screws, bolts, nuts, washers, all that good stuff, and kind of organize them. And um, we will uh, build this bad boy tomorrow. So I'm really excited. Hopefully you guys are too. Hopefully I can get a camera angle set up. I might I might be building it from top down like this. If not, I'll maybe do something from the side. So we'll figure it out. But uh, anyways, let me guys know in the comments down below if you're excited. And if you have any questions, I will be sure to try my best to answer. And I'll leave a link in the description to where you can purchase this kit for yourself. On that note, I am out. Dope Splinter. Peace, guys.